is up to all my little unicorns, new and old. It's your girl, West Indy Ray, back again with another information filled video. Now in today's video, I want to talk about things that we should align with and things that we should detach from in order to have real spiritual growth in our lives. I wrote down a big old list, so I'll probably share 10 with you today and maybe do a part two to this because 10 of each things um, that's gonna take kind of a long time and I don't want to bore you guys and I also don't want the video to be too long where if somebody, you know, maybe doesn't get it to the end, they miss all the valuable information that I'm trying to convey. So I figure I'll give it to you guys in some short to medium sized doses. So with all that being said, get your tea ready because we are going to have a little talk about spiritual growth. The tea that I have is red raspberry tea. This tea is great for menstrual cramps, it's great for PMS, it's great for pregnancy, and it's great for uterine health. So I definitely suggest for all the ladies out there to have red raspberry in your pantry. The one I get is from Akeem Pierre. Rich Soul Foods is my favorite holistic brand. If you do buy it, I just ask that you use my link. I'll put it in the description box below. And you guys, there are so many really, really great products on that site. That's also where I get my Irish moss. So on my list, I'll tell you the thing to align with and I will tell you the opposite thing that you should detach from, all right? Just to make it extremely abundantly clear what we should be doing in order to experience that real spiritual growth in our lives. So something to align with your passions. I like to think of it as a blueprint inside of us that we have, you know, when we are brought into this realm that helps us get closer to our path. A lot of times we might think like, oh, I wanna do YouTube because it's my passion. But really the passion for me is to connect with people and help them become their highest selves. YouTube is just the vehicle. So instead of just thinking about like, oh, I wanna do this or I wanna work for the NBA or I wanna do that, think about what gift you have that can be given to the world through the vehicle of whatever that career is or whatever that art form is. With that being said, number one, and I said this in another video about how to follow your life's purpose or how to find your life's purpose, um, stop doing things that you hate. <laughs> doing things that you hate is not your friend. You don't have to go through a ton of things that you hate just to get something that makes you happy. You can follow your passions and you can do it now. At the very least, start taking steps towards your passion while you maintain your lifestyle with the things that you don't particularly like. Number two is to align yourself with people who care about you. These are people who wanna see you be great, wanna see you be your best self. So they're not really going to try to do anything malicious to you to steer you wrong. When it comes to your journey, they're going to try to see through all of the thoughts and ideas that they've had about who you are and who you should be and the path that you should be on. And they're really going to look out for what is best for you and what will you know make you the most happy. So definitely align with people who care for you. That being said, again, stay away from people who drain you. If you go out to a hangout session and you're hanging out with all of your best friends and you come away from that needing two or three days of rest, those people have to go. Spend your time around people who genuinely care about you. Even though it sounds like you could have two separate lives, like your life with your friends and then your life on your spiritual path, everything is tied together, your mind, body, spirit, the people who you hang around, and you will get influenced in one way or another. So you wanna make sure that you are around people who are going to give you good influences instead of bad ones. Number three is going to be utilizing your gifts to help other people. It's just what I said in the beginning about how YouTube is my passion, but it is the vehicle to what it is that I'm really supposed to do, which is talking to you guys, uplifting you guys, helping you guys whenever you have questions. So make sure that whatever it is that you're doing, you're using that for somebody else's benefit. I talk about this all the time. Your gifts are not meant to live and die in your possession. We are to share them with other people. So number three on the list of things that you need to detach from are feeding your ego and using your talents for the sole purpose of making money. Some people say that the love of money is the root of all evil, and I do believe that to be true. If everything that you do is for profit, monetary gain, or to make you feel like I'm so cool, I could do this, that, and the third, you're not actually helping anybody and it's not helping you along your path to being your highest self. Your highest self is loving and nurturing and spreads the wealth. I always say like, this YouTube, you know, I make money off of it, it's profitable for me, 
but it's free game at the end of the day. And these things really do seem to help a lot of people. So just make sure that you're not doing everything for profit. It's very clear when people are doing things for profit and not only will that take you further and further away from your path, it'll make you come off as a lot less genuine. It just comes off as more authentic when you go into everything with a loving heart and with the purpose to help other people. So number four is to align with seeking truth. Seeking truth at all times is going to help you a lot because it'll kind of just send you down rabbit holes. I go down rabbit holes on a daily basis. I love learning about new things, new concepts, and new ways to better myself and to reach my highest potential and to reach the goals that I really have for myself. So seeking truth is always gonna be your best friend when it comes to aligning with your path and getting to your highest spiritual self. So my number four on the list of things to detach from is purposefully staying ignorant in order to feel less guilty about whatever it is that you're doing. People do this a lot. Like back in the day when they said that African people or indigenous people weren't real human beings, they were somehow some, you know, like lesser creatures so that it justified them in enslaving people and killing people, raping and pillaging people, doing all types of terrible things that still happen to this day to people. But you have to make sure that you are actively seeking truth and not having like that blindfold just so that you don't feel guilty. We know that there is a large group of people on this world who do that whole blindfold, I don't see color thing um, in order for them not to feel guilty about the sins of their ancestors and the ways that they play into, you know, those same stereotypes and those same um, oppressive behaviors. Um, people do that all the time and that's not gonna get you closer to your highest self. So when you look at how black people historically have been very spiritually connected we are not a part of that group that has to actively ignore things in order for us to feel okay about ourselves hold on let me just i feel like i feel like this is the perfect time to have a sip of this tea because woo. all right we back yeah i'm here to tell you that remaining ignorant whether it's about you know the way that the world works or sins that you are participating in or whatever it may be it, being ignorant, remaining ignorant in order to feel less guilty, that's not gonna help you on your path. You must always seek truth. Number five is to align with a physical health routine, align with a mental health routine. These things and practicing emotional health as well, making sure that you're feeling all of your feelings, making sure that you're hitting the gym when you need to or just going for a skate or a run outside. I love seeing black people skate, I skate as well, so seeing that is just like giving me life. It makes me feel really good and positive about how these black people must be elevating in every area of their lives from implementing some sort of physical health. If you're emotionally healthy, you're gonna be a lot more mentally sound. If you go to the gym a lot, your confidence is gonna build and your mentality is going to change. You are going to feel better. So making sure that you implement all forms of self-care is gonna be super important to becoming your highest self. And then number five, when it comes to things to detach from, of course, is going to be treating your person bad. But I know that I am a spiritual being having a human experience and I can't really afford to treat my person body bad because like I said before, in number five on what to align with, it's all connected. So if you're constantly eating bad, you're not getting exercise or fresh air, you're gonna be low energy, you're not gonna feel well, and it's gonna be really hard to get yourself in the right place mentally to where you can become your highest self, to where you can manifest your desires and all of that good stuff. Number six on my list of things that you need to align yourself with is gratitude. I take at least like 10 minutes every day just to practice gratitude, just to think, God and my ancestors and my mom for all the things that have been done for me and that are continuing to happen for me. I always make sure that I get that off at the beginning of the day, before I pick up my phone, before I talk to anybody, I make sure that I get that off because it is literally like the most important part of my life and it's the most important part of me continuing to have blessings all the time. When I started practicing gratitude, the blessings just overflowed even more so than before. So of course, number six is going to be to stop getting distracted from practicing gratitude with minor inconveniences or really anything that's wrong in your life, even if it's a big thing. I see people get mad over the smallest things every day, like your tire is flat. Well, you're not even grateful 
that you have like the equipment in the back of your car to change it. When things like that happen to me, I'm not a perfect person. So sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, like why did this happen to me today? I'm like, of course. But then I take a moment and I sit back and I'm like, you know, I'm so grateful that I have the tools in the back of my trunk to change this tire and be on my way. So even when bad things happen or things that maybe weren't in your mind, like the best case scenario, you always have to find a way to be grateful for what it is that you do have. Number seven on my list of things to align with is being kind towards others. Because when you are kind to others, you are kind to yourself. When we receive a compliment, for instance, if I say to you, like, you watching this, you are beautiful and you are smart and you are just so intelligent. You, in turn, would wanna to say to me, you're so positive, I love your outlook on life, like thank you, you're gorgeous too. And it just becomes like a loving fest, like just a very, very like, pot. like I feel good, I don't even know who you are and I'm filming this in my room by myself, but I feel good about how you must be feeling right now and I'm just happy that like, if I was the only person to tell you that today, like you are special and you're trying to do what's best for yourself and you're trying to align with your path and that's all that matters. And I'm tearing up, like what? Why, why? Clearly by watching this video, you guys are trying your best and I'm so proud of you. So aligning yourself with being kind to other people is gonna help you in so many ways. Not only will it, you know, make you more accustomed to using that type of language to where you can start using it on yourself, a lot of times it's also gonna give back to you because the person is gonna see something beautiful in you and want to repay you for that. Even though you know, you're know you doing these things in good faith without asking for repayment, like that's just human nature. If somebody's a positive person like you are and you recognize good things in them, they will pour into you so much. And that's gonna help you so much with aligning with your you know, highest self and feeling the best about yourself. And then from there, it's contagious. You're doing good deeds for people left and right and you just are receiving blessings and you're getting closer to wherever it is that you're supposed to be going on your path because everything comes from kindness. Everything is love. And you know, that's really the base of like all of our divine paths, isn't it? Just love and learning how to love selflessly and without the you know prerequisite of it being returned to you so of course your number seven of things to detach from is going to be playing into this whole i hate people trend when did that start when did it start and who started it please somebody tell me because i'm sick of it it's like why be a part of that like that's the most negative thing that i've ever heard in my life when you hate people, you're hating on yourself. There are so many gems and good things that we can get from exchanging with other people, like community and just so many beautiful things, like good energy. And you hate people though, like why put yourself through it? So yeah, stepping away from that whole trend of I hate people, even if you're being funny or you think that it's hilarious or something, the more that we say things, the deeper ingrained they get inside of us. And that's just not, you know, an idea or a way of life that I'm interested in or that is going to help you on your path towards your highest self. If you hate people, how are you going to give your gifts to them? It just doesn't work. Number eight is going to be aligned with open-mindedness. A lot of times, and I'm guilty of this before, you think how you think or however you were raised, you're not allowing yourself to be put onto new ideas to grow closer to yourself. If I was never open to manifestation, I wouldn't be where I am today. So let's align ourselves with open-mindedness and learning something from anyone, even if it's somebody who doesn't seem like somebody who you should be learning from. You might be able to walk away with like a little piece of information that you didn't have before. So then rolling in at number eight, the opposite of that, we must detach from judgment. So of course we judge people every day. We judge people's outfits. We judge people's perfume. We judge people for how they act in public, but a lot of times that is like stifling, it's suffocating. If you're constantly judging people instead of listening to what it is that they're saying or instead of coming about it with the mindset of learning something from them, it's not gonna be beneficial. You're just gonna be hating on that person and then you guys are gonna go your separate ways and that's it. 
Whereas if you stop judging and maybe thought like, why does, why do they do that? Or like, I wonder what makes her feel like she wants to dress like that. Or like, are those shoes really comfortable? Like maybe that's why she's wearing them. You could walk away with a new pair of Crocs and because of those Crocs, your back pain went away and now you're happier and you're closer to your highest self because you're able to be in a better place because your back doesn't hurt and now you can really focus on your meditation and you can manifest whatever you want and see if you would have like hated on her Crocs, you still would have had that back pain and you would not have been able to sit there and meditate for 30 minutes and manifest what you wanted. See how that worked out? Be open-minded. Number nine on things to align with is to be kind to animals and plants. I don't understand something about the psyche of people who can run over snakes on purpose and not feel bad about it or abuse dogs and not feel bad about it. Y'all must have something like twisted in your mind that's like firing off and it's dragging you to the depths of your lower self. Don't do that. <laughs> when you talk to your plants and you're kind to your plants, they will grow and purify your air. When you are nice to all other beings around you, whether that is by showing love to your puppy, which I love to do daily, or not eating meat, which helps me a lot with becoming my highest self. When you do those things, instead of always walking around with hate, you are in the process of getting closer and closer and closer to your highest self. So number nine, things to detach from, is not caring about your environment. That is using plastic straws and throwing them out of the window so that sea turtles can now be harmed by them. That's actively choosing not to recycle even though there's a recycling bin right in front of you. Because again, you don't care about anybody else but yourself. We gotta make sure that we are caring about the environment and all beings around us because everything's connected, like I said before. And then coming in hot at number 10 is going to be to practice aligning yourself with shameless self-care. When I'm taking care of myself properly, I'm feeling great, okay? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling like my highest self. I'm feeling like I can do anything. I'm feeling like I have so much power and I can manifest anything that I want. It's really a great place to be. So practicing shameless self-care is definitely going to get you there. Like I said before, with the whole working out thing, pour into yourself and you will get higher and higher and higher. So of course, at number 10, the thing that you need to detach from is feeling guilty somehow for prioritizing yourself and your health. If you don't feel like going out with your friends, just don't go. It's best that you don't go. Whether it's in your spirit or your body's too tired or whatever it is, don't feel guilty for prioritizing yourself. You don't always have to have another event to go to or something to do for work or school to say no. Practice prioritizing your self-care and do not feel bad about prioritizing that. All right, so that is it for part one. I'm not sure how many parts there will be to this because going over it again, I have more already on my list and I could probably think of like 50 more by the end of the day. So I'm not sure how many parts this will be, but this is the end of part one. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I hope that you were drinking your tea and taking your notes. As I said before, the link to this tea blend will be down in the description box below so you guys can purchase it using my link. You guys, I really hope that this helped you and I really, 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 really hope that you are feeling light and that you are having a great day, always knowing that you are loved by me and I hope that you're feeling love from whoever else is around you. Also, if you made it to the end of this video and you are hearing me say this right now, make sure to leave a little unicorn in the comment section below. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Follow all my social media accounts right down there and I'll see you in the next video.